What pisses you off in most movies? When they don't wait nearly long enough for the person on the other end of the phone to reply. I get that it would be weird for them to sit there for the full realistic amount of time sometimes. But it really bugs me when they listen to the phone for like one second then reply as though the person on the other end just told them a lot of stuff. Action movies mainly. The main character is able to take multiple bullets. While a random bad goon dies with a punch. When the bomb gets diffused with 0. 001 left on the timer. Or the virus stops downloading at 99%. Yeah. Cause nobody saw that coming. Phone sound effects that only exist in the movies. Pretty sure no one's phone makes some gizmo sounds every time you touch it. Anytime anyone touches a microphone you hear this awful feedback noise. That's not what causes feedback. When the main character finally gets a chance to defeat the villain and ends up blowing it when they stall to partake in a pointless dialogue. Forgetting about stuff that was introduced earlier or coming up with reasons for not using it. Like when they introduce some awesome new non-lethal weapon and then completely forget it exists an hour later when it would have been incredibly useful. This is really stupid. But, I hate in movies when characters are served coffee or water or something and they never drink it. Leaving a full drink at the bar. People holding someone at gunpoint from two feet away. I'm always asking, you know what's great about guns? You don't have to be within reach to use them. Oh. Surprise. They jumped you and were wrestling now. When they drop their weapon after using it once. In horror movies when an adult tells a kid to wait somewhere and the fucking kid starts wandering. Infinite shifting in race or chase scenes. That. And when the driver is already full throttle and another car is catching up alongside. Stomping the gas harder magically makes the car go faster. American high school kids all look about 25. When the characters throw away their gun as soon as they run out of ammo. I was watching Skyfall the other day and it bugged the shit out of me when he throws away his gun. It's his service weapon and registered to him. And he had plenty of time to put it back in his holster. Plus who knows what kids might be playing near some train tracks and stumble upon a free gun. People living in houses or apartments that they clearly would never be able to afford in real life. Ridiculous action camera scenes. They are either zoomed in so close you can't tell what's happening or there are a ton of jump cuts in an effort to make a boring action scene more interesting. Knock the guard out. If they're unconscious for that long they're probably dead. Crack their skull open or concussed. Even the latter is ridiculous as you wake up relatively quickly from a concussion. Certainly not long enough for James Bond to slip into a complex. Download the files. Have sex. And run out again undetected. That guard is dead. Infinite ammo in a gun. Stalking and lying to achieve someone's love is okay in romantic comedies. Fight scenes when they cut between shots every half a second and every single shot is super shaky. It's just lazy and so many movies do it. Look at Kingsman or John Wick the fight scenes are great and memorable because they had great choreography along with great cinematography. When they say, we have no other choice. Or, what choice do we have? Or, we don't have any other options. This is the most overused way to motivate characters taking action in a film. It's so iconic that it's easy to miss. It becomes side dialogue. Pay close attention and you'll notice it. The plot may be constructed so they do have other choices, but you just believe what they say because you don't want to think about it. When the dialogue is really quiet so I have to turn the volume up. Then an intense scene starts and it's incredibly loud. When it is so dark you can't see a goddamn thing. When there's a situation and somebody says, I can explain, and the other person says, I don't want to hear it, and so the person that can explain just doesn't explain. Like, I understand they said they don't want to hear it, but you're a human being with agency and you can assess the situation and determine that the explanation trumps this person's emotional reaction and just shout. The person I was having lunch with was my sister. As they're leaving the room, just because somebody tells you they don't want to hear it doesn't mean you can't yell out a carefully worded explanation that solves all of your problems as they storm off in a huff. 1. Finding a parking spot or available table every time. And 2. When I notice how much they use each other's names. When a bomb is set to go off. The 30 second countdown lasts 5 plus minutes. Women who step out of a hot shower in full makeup. Also who go to bed and wake up in perfect makeup. Also when crying does nothing to their eyeliner. I guess I just have it out for makeup. 
lol. When there's a male nerd who's supposed to be shy and awkward, but is actually very attractive and later pulls his shirt off revealing a perfect six-pack. When the movie is based off of some other source such as a book, video game, or cartoon TV show and they make a ton of bad changes to the movie to be different from the source material. Example, The Last Airbender. Women who wear heels while fighting. You will break an ankle. Edit. Wow didn't expect this many upvotes. Thanks. Teenagers in movies are jacked six-packed 25-year-olds. Not saying goodbye when they hang up the phone. I've talked about this before. Because it pisses me off how so many movies and shows have the trope of cutting the palm of your hand when blood is needed for some sort of ritual. It originated because it was an easy place for them to hide a blood packet back when special effects weren't what they are today. However, if you've ever had a cut on the palm of your hand you would know that's a terrible place to make a wound because you pretty much lose the use of that hand and it can take a while to heal. There are much better places to draw blood from, yet we still see it all the time. And on top of that the characters are fine in the scenes after or in the case of shows like Supernatural and The 100. They are making fists and fighting with no problem. When the main character guesses someone's password on exactly the third try by looking at objects, pictures around the room. Person 1 almost a drowns. Person 2, luckily, knows CPR and is most likely wife, husband of person 1. CPR doesn't work. Person 2, I don't want to live without you looks away and cries. Person 1 wakes up quietly and looks over right after person 2 looks away crying and smiles. You don't have to. Mon fuck you you're dead as shit. Preview contains scenes that aren't in the movie. Science why talk dumb down to an analogy so that us dummy viewers can understand. Scientist. If we can calibrate the velocity in which the terminal module status equals the force times weight of a monochrome. Then we may have a shot at resetting the temporal magnitude of the earthquake in a way that trebuchets the mass back to the source of the tremors. Protagonist. You mean like a slingshot. Scientist. Exactly. If we have hope and truly believe in ourselves we can win the big game, kill the aliens, get the girl. Forcing romance or sexual tension between a man and a woman. Why can't men and women be just friends, platonic in movies? When time doesn't advance accurately. The bomb has 15 seconds left. And Batman gets it far enough over the ocean where the blast doesn't kill anyone. Really? If you're going to do a war movie, please put more detail in youth. Disfiguring and the chaos that ensues the entire time. Saving Private Ryan made my great-grandfather cry since he was in Normandy and he said no other movie he had seen comes close to that movie for nearly being as real as it got. Edit. Your. People who met a week ago and falls in love? That Hollywood can't seem to make a single goddamn movie where the main boy and the main girl don't end up together. I don't remember the name of that movie with the two people who were in a plane crash and survived together in the mountains, but I thought it was so stupid and redundant that of course they had to fall in love. It didn't matter that Kate Winslet was engaged to someone else before the plane crash, she had to fall in love with Idris Elba because they were surviving together. Irrelevant romance ruining a good non-romantic storyline or non-romantic relationship. Or when it comes to Banner and Black Widow, that was a highly relevant romance which I wish was explored in more depth. Hacking and programming scenes. Well they're more ridiculously laughable rather than irritating. Trying to crack something IRL is 99% trying something. Not working. Swearing at the screen and then attempting it again with a slight difference. Rinse and repeat. Kids who scream like crazy. They want to think they're good at acting but usually it's annoying AF. The way romantic comedies often portray men not respecting the word no. Or doing borderline creepy or stalkerish behaviors. As the heroes of the movie. This is a very bad message to send to men, and to send to women that they should play coy or be not open about what they want. Or set poor weak boundaries, and then change their mind and accept the guy after he disrespects her stated responses or does creepy stuff. Bad bad messages all around. Forced romance when the movie has nothing to do with romance. Haha <laughs> accidentally shot the gun. No biggie. Like. No motherfucker. That thing is loud. You may as well be deaf for a scene and it's definitely not funny that you don't know how to hold a gun without endangering everyone within a 100 yard radius. Looking at you. Tilda literally every action comedy ever made Tilda. The fact they can run for what seems like forever. Kissing scenes. Especially with the slurping noises shivers. Perfectly timed rain. 
Why can't a man be friends with a woman without sexual tension? Cringy pop culture references. The ones that'll get a laugh at the moment but a year or two later it'll make no sense as it didn't stand the test of time. Image enhancement. In CIA type movies. What's that book he's holding say? Enhance the image. Tilda image magically turns from 240p to 4k tilde. Video editing and special effects are my job. Trust me. It doesn't work like that. Characters making decisions that go against pure common sense. The sound of a gun when they pull it out. That metal sound hella annoying. No one ever has to pee. Hostage situation? No peeing. Tied up to a post for two days? No peeing. Stuck in an elevator for hours? Nope. Standing for hours on a mine that might explode. Or kidnapped and held in the trunk of a car? You guessed it. No wet pants. Sex scenes where none are needed. If I wanted to watch people have sex. I'd watch porn. There's nothing more awkward than having to watch people get it on with my parents watching the same movie.